fans are like this now, and they just wanted to send you a message about your ex-man. <laughs> recognizing a lot of people. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. All I can say is congratulations. The, the record is getting unbelievable reviews across the board and is sold out everywhere. Yeah. So, so I want to ask you, particularly about the first single, Shake It Off, because it's about letting go of negative stuff that people say uh, uh, to you, about you. Is there something that really drove you to decide enough with this let's let's really shake it off, shake it off. yeah i think it was the fact that um lately i've been spending a lot of time online just Why? <laughs> Why? I've been, because well not in the way you you think i've been actually <laughs> i've been kind of going and reading all kinds of comments from fans on instagram and tumblr and twitter and seeing seeing that not only was i going through people saying things about me that weren't true so was everyone that I was talking to yeah. online. And we may have different circumstances surrounding our lives and different sources of gossip. Theirs is like whispers in school hallways or rumors at work, and mine is on the newsstand when I check out at the grocery store. <laughs> but it's the same feeling. Yeah. And, and I think that it's, it has to be the same reaction if you want to continue to live a happy life. Mm -hmm. You have to let go of things you can't control. And it, it's, it's our human instinct to, to try and defend yourself when people have the wrong impression of right. you. You right. want to be like, but you, 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 you don't, don't like me. Because you, <laughs> don't, because you, you, like, yeah. you don't understand. That's not what happened. But you have to let go of that and just like get rid of it because it's not oh, yours anymore. That. You were nervous about how this album was going to be received, and you always seem surprised when you win awards. How are you, how are you, how do you not know how awesome you are? And why were you nervous? And why were you, what? And why were you nervous about this album? Well, I wasn't necessarily nervous about this album. I think my label might have been a little oh, nervous. Oh, don't, but they'll that's never even say it now. Story. But, okay, that's this. <laughs> but, you know, I think that, um, I, I knew I wanted to change the way I did things creatively. I knew I wanted to keep people on their toes. Um, I didn't want anyone to have their feelings hurt by me changing directions creatively because that's never the intention. Of course. Um, and, you know, I think that I don't ever want to be presumptuous about anything, about being invited or about winning something or about something doing well because if you're presumptuous about your, your next project doing well, then maybe you won't work as hard creating it. And I, so I, I keep a, a nice health, healthy level of uh, insecurity going at all times. <laughs> I understand that. You know what bothers that. me is that you write about breakups, you write about your life, and they criticize you for that, but other artists, male artists, do it all the time, and they never make music. That's true. How do you feel Happy anniversary, by the way. Thank you, Tolly. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, I completely agree with you, and um, it's interesting how feminism has come up in conversations so much more in the last year. It's amazing to see, because um, I was never really taught the definition of feminism when I was a little girl, and I wish I had been. It just wasn't really culturally uh, much of a conversation um, in, in the mass, you know, with the masses, yes. and with like where I was living in my small town. So it's amazing to see people like Emma Watson and people who are providing, pro yeah, yeah right. providing it's a just really about equality. It's not male bashing. Yes, it's and, and I it's love that there is an how easy you definition feel about yourself because yes. you before you can do anything, you have to have a positive feel for who you are. You, no one completes you. You are already complete. Yeah. So that's what I love. You, you know, I, yeah. I've said it earlier. One of the things I love about you is you march to your own drummer. And that, to me, is total freedom. Yeah. So I love it. I love it. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. We have more with Taylor Swift, so please don't go away, okay? Yeah. Telling you why being single doesn't mean she's alone.
Taylor's Welcome to New York, the first song on Taylor's new album, 1989. <laughs> now, speaking of New York, my hometown, you have recently moved here, and you said that it's your, been your lifelong dream. Yeah, I love it here. You do? I, I love it so much, and um, I actually ended up writing a song called Welcome to New York about what it felt like to move here and how it just felt very very much like endless possibilities and, mm -hmm. and it feels like being unique is celebrated here and yes um the song the song welcome to new york i actually i don't think i've told anybody this before but um the fans were wonderful enough to make it number one on itunes and it's it's selling really really well which is good because i'm donating all of my proceeds to new york city public schools wow. with an incredible group of girlfriends. Some famous, you guys were just talking about Lena Dunham, but some not so famous. And I think that all women um, can do a better job surrounding themselves with women that make them feel happy and strong. What are some of the things you look for in friends? I look for people who uh, really have their own passion in life. Um, Lena fits that cat, absolutely. right? Absolutely. We, we really relate because we're writers first and foremost. Um, and also we're just so super enthusiastic about everything. If you meet, if you ever meet Lena for the first time, she comes up to you and she's like, hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, as it, and you're, you've never met her before, but she's acting like you're a long lost friend. Um, and that's what's so amazing about her. But my friends, they all are chasing their own dreams and they all have their own um, ambitions. And that's what fuels you. You're yeah. supposed to surround yourself with people who challenge you and motivate you and want, make you want to be smarter, stronger, better. Right. So that's what my friends do for me. And I'm so happy to have so many good ones right now. And you, you have so many fans and you recently visited a little boy. I know this was not the only time you do this, but we have a beautiful tape of you visiting a little boy in the hospital with leukemia. Take a look. I didn't know you come. I miss him so much watching that. That was just like a few months ago, but I already just like wish I could go back. Um, it looks like he would like that too. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. I didn't know you would come. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you a dopey question about your cat. Somebody just alerted us to the fact that it's National Cat Day. National Cat Day today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two. I have two cats. Two yeah. cats. How friendly are they? Well, <laughs> it sounds so like there's two of them. The first oh. one, that oh. one's Meredith. Mm -hmm. Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Meredith Gray. Oh. <laughs> is her full name. And then that's Detective Olivia Benson. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, the theme is strong women characters on my favorite TV shows. But um, <laughs> the, the the first one, Meredith, started out as a very friendly kitten, and then she became sort of an internet celebrity. And I think she kind of she, went to her head. Head. she changed a little. <laughs> you gotta watch for that. She just kind of sits around, and she's always giving me the side glance. She's always like. Mm. Like, you know, like I don't, like I don't matter anymore to her because she knows that she was like 2013's most popular celebrity cat. Right. Wow. Yeah. So then, then, then there's the new one right. who like has terrible balance and walks into walls and like falls asleep on you purring. Right. So she's just like polar opposites. What is she? She's a. a They're a both specific... Scottish folds. Ah. Yeah. So. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. So and happy cat day. Happy cat day, happy everybody. Cat day. Right. And you also just released a deluxe album that has some cool features. You want to tell us about that? And all yeah, your... yeah. Because so the 1989 deluxe album is at Target, and it has three extra songs that I'm obsessed with. I'm so happy that people get to hear them. Um, and it also has it has these three songwriting voice memos from my cell phone on the deluxe on the CD albums. Uh -huh. Yeah. So essentially, what that is is when I start out writing a song, and it's just me sitting at the piano with my phone up here recording a voice memo of it 
and me like making up half the lyrics because I only have the melody and sure. half the lyrics. Um, I wanted to show people that part of it because so many people ask questions about my songwriting and I just wanted to show them like this is where it starts and then you can listen to the album to see where it ended up. Oh great. Awesome. So it's like the before and after. And that's probably helpful for all those kids there who want to be songwriters and singers like you. I and there are so. millions of them. <laughs> yeah, millions of them. Yes. And they all love you. I want to thank you for coming. You have brought joy to this studio. <laughs> Thanks to Taylor Swift, members of our audience will be going home with her new album, 1989.